The United Kingdom is well known for its weather. It seems to be the first topic of conversation when you get two or more Brits together, and the record snowfall over the United Kingdom in February 2009 was a case in point. However, at the same time, it was chastening to see reports of the wildfires in Australia, fires which may not have been directly caused by the weather, but were assisted by months of drought and high temperatures. Well, let's take a closer look at fronts. What are they? Well, you think of two different air masses, and it's where they meet. They have a battle, and that battle of the two is a weather front. And our weather map across the British Isles, some typical weather fronts. A cold front here, a warm front there, warmer air sitting here, and much colder air diving in. There's our area of low pressure. And the cold up more dense air digs in down behind the warmer air, lifting the warm air, it condenses, forms the cloud, and then eventually, the favorite stuff we all know and love across the British Isles, our rain. We can see examples of fronts and air masses at work in two very different locations from early this year, that of Australia and the UK. What actually happened? We had a ridge of high pressure in the Tasman Sea with a counterclockwise flow around it. We had the hot, dry air coming from the central parts of the continent right towards southeastern parts of Australia, just exacerbating the fires with this hot, tinderbox dry air working its way and persisting for days on end. While Australia was experiencing unbearable heat, the United Kingdom was preparing for its worst snow in 18 years. We had the cold air sitting across Siberia, oozing its way west. And as it did, it just brought in that cold air, meeting warm, moist air from the Atlantic, and that brought the snow across the uh, UK. And it just persisted for days as that cold air worked in the two different air masses, having their battle. And that's why we uh, saw the snow, and for many spots it was the uh, snow shovels in hand. And for the first time, we actually created the weather across the UK because of the two different air masses colliding and having their battle right here. So if you've enjoyed making snowballs and waiting long hours for public transport, then you can at least be thankful that the weather was made in the United Kingdom and hope that we don't manage to do it again for a long time to come. <laughs>